I hear everything. I hear what's going on in my opponent's corner. I hear what's happening in our corner. I hear what my coaches are telling me from our corner. I hear screams in the hallway. The best part is when you've prepared for the fight, you feel great. You go into the ring, you feel the support of the people, and you realize you have a purpose. That's really nice. In recent history, Ukraine has become somewhat of a boxing powerhouse, from the more than a decade of heavyweight dominance by the Klitschko brothers to the more recent Olympic and professional successes of Oleksandr Usyk and Vasil Lomachenko. The Ukrainians know how to produce quality boxers, and one of the freshest faces in that line is WBO European heavyweight champion Oleg Malinovsky. Oleg is 28 and was born and raised in Kiev. He's a southpaw. And while he wasn't exactly an honor student, he always played football and could eloquently recite poems. I'd recite poems so well that the teacher was in bliss when I read them. And I always had good grades in Ukrainian literature because of the poems. Nevertheless, he didn't pursue a liberal arts education. Instead, he had intended to follow in his parents' footsteps, studying to be an electrician specializing in fire alarm systems. My dad now works in the Kiev metro. He's an electrician by trade. Yeah, and my mom, I can also mention that my mom, my mom also works at a factory. She's a machinist. Oleg's first experience in the ring came as a 15-year-old. It's the usual story. He wanted to take his skills from the street and improve them in the gym. So he went with some friends and met his coach, Stanislav Grigoryuk. They've since become inseparably close. After just two and a half years of training, Oleg earned the title of Master of Sports of Ukraine, a title that normally takes five years to achieve. He was the kind of guy who loved to fight. He'd let punches through, and if someone fought him, he'd win. And if someone tried to beat him, they'd win. Then, of course, we started learning combinations every year, and he was getting better and better and better. By 2009, Oleg was already training with the national team, thanks in large part to Olympic and world champion boxer Vasil Lomachenko. In 2008, Vasil returned from the Olympics, and he was the first champion of Ukraine. He visited, and he and Oleg had a fight. Senior coach Dmitro Sosnovsky immediately noticed it and said, what a nice kid, and put him on the team. Oleg was on the team until 2011. In amateur boxing, Malinovsky became champion of Ukraine and a three-time national champion. He participated in the 2010 European Amateur Boxing Championships in Moscow and in the Continental Championships among military servicemen in Rio de Janeiro, but he didn't win anything. He couldn't put everything together. He battled through injury and unfortunate draws. He didn't qualify for the Olympics. And when he only finished third in the Ukrainian Championships in 2011, he decided to go professional. His coach thought it was a hasty decision. He still regrets it to this day. He didn't try to prove to himself that he could accomplish something on the international stage in an amateur boxing. I think he could have shown something more there. But Oleg had made the decision. He saw it as an opportunity to provide financial stability for his family, for his wife Katya, whom he met over the New Year's holidays, and his daughter Christina, who came shortly after. He finds happiness and peace with his young family. Christina loves feeding squirrels. This is my wife's birthday. I gave her a bouquet of white roses. I was so surprised on my birthday. They were balloons, cakes, candles, everything like it should be. He can really make a delicious lunch or dinner. He can clean up when I'm not at home. If I go somewhere or if I'm at work, it's not a problem. He can do anything. Katya tries to avoid her husband's fights. She gets too nervous. But despite the nerves, she's forced herself to attend his two most important, a less fight for the WBO champion of Europe and his defense of it. Nevertheless, she gets emotional thinking about it. I worry. I worry a lot when he gets cut. During one fight, his nose started bleeding, and I got worried. Didn't know what to do. I paced back and forth. 
I can't see what she's doing from the ring, but my friends told me that she gets really worried, covers her eyes, hides, and sometimes even flinches. The life of a boxer is sectioned off and sometimes scheduled down to the minute with training and diet regimens, especially before a fight, since Alek needs to put his entire focus on the fight ahead. After the fight, I become more gentle, and I think everyone benefits from that. Because a week before the fight, or even before that, when you start dropping weight, it gets difficult. You become angry, irritable, and everyone starts hiding from you. Malinovsky made his professional debut in February of 2012 and has had 19 fights. He's unbeaten. In April 2016, he won the WBO European featherweight title by defeating Ruslan Berchuk from Russia. In November, he successfully defended his title with a fight against Spaniard Eusebio Osiejo. His greatest quality as a boxer is perhaps the best he could have, composure. And that extends outside the ring to the days leading up to the fight. He fought a lot of boxers, with Tretiak and others. He's very calm psychologically, level-headed. He's not afraid, he's ready to go. Maybe he lacks some skills in some places, but he's never lacked spirit. He doesn't care who he fights, he's ready to fight anyone. The tape isn't used to hit harder, but to protect the hand. You get these lumps, but they're not broken. It's some kind of problem with the cartilage. The bones aren't broken, it's the cartilage. Oleg puts his faith in the hands of the team around him. They take care to make sure he stays on top of his game, at his physical peak. And if anyone does their job wrong, Oleg can't perform at his peak or even perform at all. And he recognizes the importance of having such a close-knit team around him. I have a team I work with. I'd actually like to thank Dima Madula, Viktor Tsekmeister, Stanislav Grigoryuk, my coach, for the fact that they guide me, they support me, they work with me. Thank you to them for everything. The gym Olek frequents offers lessons for children and teenagers led by his own mentors. Their passion has rubbed off on him to the point that he sees a future for himself coaching young boxers. I hope that I'll be able to train one of the kids as a hobby. I think about it. Of course, we need some sort of income, and then you can do what you love. But that's for later. Malinovsky still has unfinished business as a boxer. He's still working towards his ultimate goal of becoming world champion. Every boxer wants to become champion of the world. Amateur boxers want to be Olympic champion, professional boxers want to be world champion, of course. Only time will tell if Olek can reach the heights of his world champion compatriots. His dedication to the sport and level-headedness will surely help him get far, but whether it's enough to push him over the top is yet to be seen. If he doesn't, it won't be because he didn't have the drive. I just set a goal for myself, and I put my full focus on it, no matter what. Yeah, there were thoughts of giving up, but my coach supported me. He supported me, and I'm still boxing today. When they raise my student's hand in the ring, for me, that's the biggest high. Everything you do is invisible. The work in the gym, your work, the drive, the sweat, and then you get the end result. It's the best. It's the biggest thrill there can be. Alek makes a point of leaving his aggression in the ring. At home, he's quiet and unassuming. He likes fishing and relaxing outdoors. He sees no reason to fight anywhere but in the ring. I just walk away from situations like that, from any conflict. I don't need that. Because fists, they say, are a boxer's livelihood. Fists need to be protected. It's important not to throw a single hard punch. You need the maximum number of punches as hard as possible at the highest possible rate. That's power. Ukraine's ascent to becoming the world's foremost boxing nation isn't slowing down. With boxers like Oleg Molinovsky, helping to forge that path. The composure and toughness Alek displays is a common trait among several of Ukraine's boxing world champions, so perhaps someday soon he'll be the newest name on Ukraine's growing list of champions.